What are some cheat codes for interacting with certain animals? If you're being attacked by an alligator and you have a gun, aim it in the mouth before pulling the trigger because if you try to shoot yourself any other way you're likely to miss. This is very bad advice for killing yourself. What you really want to do is put the gun just above your ear. If you put it in your mouth, there's a decent chance the bullet will just go through the back of your throat leaving you wounded and about to be torn apart by an alligator. Above the ear is almost guaranteed death. Cockatoos can be very friendly. If you have one's attention, soft clicking, clucking noises, and small head bobs will often result in them dancing and imitating you. Be careful or they might land on your head or shoulders, which has happened to me. Leave giant birds the hell alone. Would you pet a pea-brained, angry dinosaur? No. Why they put ostriches, emus, rheas, etc. in petting zoos is a mystery to me. These guys can quickly injure you, and there is no single quick tip in dealing with them. Yeah I fed an emu once at a petting zoo. Why would you hand feed one of those? It's not like they can grab the food gently with their soft lips. They just peck and bite the shit out of your hand until you've dropped all the food everywhere. If you scratch a cat right above its tail, i.e. but scratches, it can do some weird things. I've seen but scratches make a cat make those weird talking noises, and then I saw a cat who feverishly licked his own chest. I volunteer at my local animal shelter, and there was one cat in there that would love to be scratched there. The only problem was that he would stick his but way up in the air when you did it and try to tuck head underneath himself. He often lost balance on the shelf he was sitting on and fall. If you can pick up a chicken, hold its head under one of its wings then rock it like a baby for a minute. Then put it in the ground and it will be asleep. You can also put them in a trance by holding their beak against the ground and drawing a line out from their beak with your finger. When you let go of their head they just kind of stare at the ground with their head down. E. Dot, fat fingers, little buttons. Saltwater crocodiles, do not interact. Do not even think about interaction. If they can possibly get to where you are, stay the fuck away from the water. There are no cheat codes, there is only death. I have lost two friends to crocodiles when I was living in Darwin, NT. Never try to get near a herd of sheep in the wild, because sheepdogs are quite protective. That being said, if you ever have to walk through a herd of confined sheep without making them shy away, walk backwards through the herd. They will calmly stream around both sides of you. Why? Because sheep are very stupid creatures. Dolphins love children crazy amounts, so if you are going to go swimming with them or feed them, bring a child. When boxing with a kangaroo they usually lack the strategy to do more than interchange punching arms, so you can easily use this to your advantage. If you spray a spider with hairspray slash deodorant, then it won't be able to move but you can beat it to death easier. Why do dolphins know that human children are, well, children? Since the spider thing sounds legit, I figure the others are too, although I'm almost certain the kangaroo one is made up since kangaroo boxing is a joke played on other boxers. If you're allergic to cats, try to show them you're interested. But keep your body language to them. They tend to focus on interested people because you're relaxed and seem like a cool guy. Source, have an allergy to cats and every time I ignore them they come at me bra. Throw a peanut at a squirrel. He might get scared, but then he will check it out and eat it. Throw peanuts closer and closer to you one at a time, waiting for the squirrel to find each one and come back. Make a noise every time he picks up and eats the peanut. Eventually you can get the squirrel to take a peanut next to your hand, without your hand moving. Keep making your sound and throw the peanut in front of you and hold it. Try not to get bit by the nervous squirrel. Works with other animals too. If attacked by a shark, punch them firmly in the snout. If that doesn't work poke him in the eye with your stump. Edit, didn't know the source, I do now. Credit to Robert Schimmel. If you do end up being attacked by a dog, offer your forearm. 
Do this because not only will you be able to control the position of the dog so it doesn't bite a more dangerous area, but if the dog has latched on, use your free arm to push the back of its head into the bitten arm, while pushing your bitten arm further back into the dog's mouth. This will make the dog let go. Edit, words. With dogs. Always let them smell the back of your hand when you approach M. Never go straight for the pat on the head. Some dogs see this as a threat and will become aggressive. Letting them smell the back of the hand lets M know you're cool, 